Well, hey there, and welcome back to the Hands-On Discovery Center. My name is John, and tis the season for science. Today, we're gonna to be looking at an activity that you can try at home using ingredients that you may have available around the house. Something that you could do to celebrate the seasons or kind of change it up, do it any time of year. Today for our activity, what you will need is a pitcher of water, a clear container, a mixing spoon, some baby oil or mineral oil, some white paint. We found that acrylic paint works well, but if you have other kinds of paint at home, turn this demonstration into an experiment. Try out different types of paint. But what really makes this activity work is the antacid pain relief, the drop, drop, fizz, fizz tablets that make fizzy, fizzy bubbles in a cup of water. To start this activity, fill your clear container with a few inches of clean, clear water. On top of that, we're gonna pour some of this mineral oil or baby oil if you have that at home. Right away, I see something really cool. If you look very closely, the mineral oil didn't mix in with the water. That's because mineral oil and a lot of oils are hydrophobic, which is a fancy word that says, I don't mix with water. Instead, it is floating on top of the water, which means that the mineral oil is less dense or buoyant on water. And this might be interesting because for our next step, we're gonna pour this white paint directly on top of mineral oil. Again, if you look at our jar here, we see something cool. All of the white paint has sunk through the mineral oil, through the water, and is just kind of sitting on the bottom of the container, telling us that it's even more dense than water and sinks in the water. Using a mixing spoon, just kind of give it a few little mixes to get that paint stirred into the water. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And now we can really see that dividing layer where the water mixed with the paint has sunk to the bottom and the mineral oil is floating at the top, still pretty clear. Now to activate the science experiment, you're gonna take one of these plop plop fizz fizz antacid tablets, maybe break it in half for starters and just plop it right into the container and watch what happens. As soon as you add this antacid tablet into the water, the tablet starts dissolving and it creates this fizzy bubble effect due to something called an acid-base reaction. Inside of this tablet, there's actually bicarbonate of soda or baking soda, which reacts with dry acid powder that is in the tablet. This acid and the base react chemically to create carbon dioxide bubbles, which are very buoyant in the water and so light, in fact, that they float up to the top, carrying up little droplets of water and paint mixture. But as soon as that carbon dioxide bursts at the top layer, well, that paint water mixture begins to fall back down in kind of what looks like a miniature snowstorm in a jar. And once you're finished with just a half tablet, you can scale up this activity, turn it into a scientific experiment by testing out not just one tablet, but maybe three tablets. See how much of a snow blizzard you can create in your snowstorm in a jar. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you do try this at home, we'd love to see how it turned out for you and we'll see you in the next video.